Alrighty, hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at how to track different debuffs, buffs, and anything you need to basically track within a raid. So I do this through Tell Me When. You can also do this through Weak Auras, and there are, I think, a few other ways to do it. But I personally use Tell Me When because it has a more visual layout, and it's very, very, very easy to set up once you understand how to do it. So the first thing I want to start off with saying is that you need to be tracking things that will alter your gameplay. So if we have a look on the Holy Priest, you have the Blessing of Ture. So this increases the healing you do by 20%. Does this change your gameplay? No, not at all. You never cast anything differently when you have that 20% healing buff. It is a random passive healing buff. Um, you know, It's not going to change your gameplay. So it is very important when you, you're setting up what to track that you're tracking things that will alter your gameplay. Um, that will, you know, make you make you cast a spell, make remind you to cast a spell, you know, do something different. You don't want to be tracking random things like trinket buffs, random things like, you know, class buffs that just don't change how you play. Now, this can be said differently about the talent like Hallowed Ground. Oh sorry power of the Nari, where it increases the healing after you cast Sanctify, because that might actually change your gameplay. So after you cast Sanctify, you have this, you know, Prayer of Healing increased healing. At this point, this is probably, this is going to be where your Prayer of Healing is more effective, so this will change your gameplay. So, you know, think about what you're doing in your class, and make sure you're tracking things that actually are relevant try to minimize the amount of information you're giving to yourself so you have an easier way of deciding you know what is the best thing to be doing at that present time you know this the overload of information some people have on their uis is ridiculous and it just makes what they're doing a lot harder um so let's get started so the way to bring up tell me when is go slash tmw slash tmw will bring you up these four bars by default so what we can do with these bars is i'm going to move them down underneath my player frame now because i have my raid frames in the middle of my screen i always like to track my cooldowns on the bottom left here so what we do to start doing that is we can right click on here and we can come up with all the options now the first thing i want to track is a spell cooldown so i like to set up my ui so i have the smallest cooldowns of going to the larger cooldowns now the first thing I should I should say when we're getting into this is we can increase the number of uh, rows and columns here and just make this a huge grid, um, like just like so. You can increase it, you can change the size, you can do whatever you want, however you like it. You can make multiple groups. I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, we're just going to be working with this this simple grid. Okay. So first thing we can do is we can right click on here. It'll bring up this option. So in this group option, this is where you're you're doing your different things here. So we can choose to track them in combat, which I generally like to do, but we won't do that for this video. Um, we can choose different ways of tracking things. I don't like bars. I generally stick stick to icons. Um, obviously, we only want this as a healer, and we only want this in our holy spec. So going back to if we right click on this it'll take us back to the icon tab is you know get familiar with what these tabs are and how to navigate around um you tell me when so we're going to go to the icon so now we're currently in this icon here we're going to be tracking our smallest cooldown which is prayer of mending so prayer of mending um so we want to be tracking that i want to be tracking it i want to know when it's off cooldown so when it's ready i want to then when it's on a cooldown it's going to go to a 20 percent opacity um, I want to show its timers, so we want to show the timer, we want to show a timer text, and we also want to show just the LVI built-in timer. Um, so this is the general, this is the default options I always use for when I'm setting up all my spell cooldowns. So I can go through now, and I can set this up super quickly for all the, uh, all the different spells I have. So, holy word, um, what do we got? Holy Word Serenity here. So now one thing to note is you can either left click to insert the spell name or right click to insert the spell ID. I recommend you track the spell name because the spell IDs can change between patches and you're not too concerned about the spell IDs. So same thing, we want it at 100% opacity We and then when it's not available it's going to go down to 20% opacity. We want to show the timer text and that's it. So we can just go through, we're just right clicking on here to bring up the new box and we just go through and do this for all our spells 
So this takes, you know, two minutes to set up for all your spells. Go through, do every single one. Um, very, very easy to do. Now, there's obviously other things you want to be tracking. There's different ways you can set it out. Um, it's completely personal preference. Do whatever you want there. So if we want to show off how these work now, uh, we can just use them. So prayer of ending, cast them myself. Uh, and, you know, goes on cooldown, goes, you know, a bit opaque. Same with serenity, all that, all that good stuff. Love the lag. Okay, so next thing we can be doing is tracking things like buffs. So if we right click on here and drag it across, um, we can split, we can make a new group. So you can do this multiple different ways. Um, you can go general, you can add a new group through here. Um, but the easiest way to do it is just right click and split uh, an empty box into a new group. So through this, we can go to group, we can just make this a huge grid again. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how big these are because these won't show when you go slash tell me when again. We want it in our holy spec, only to show in combat. We'll turn that off for now because it's easier for this demonstration. Okay, so super simple. So we've set up this large massive grid for all our debuffs, uh, for all our buffs we're going to be getting. So for the buff section, all you have to do is left click on the buff. You want to know what buff to track. So a good one to track is defensive cooldowns. So when you get a defensive buff, you can see the list of defensive buffs there. A whole bunch of different names, things that might not be in the game. Doesn't really matter. They're just buffs. So it's a whole it's a whole list of buffs there. You can track that. You're going to be tracking it on yourself. You can put in a specific player name here if you really want. If you want to track the tanks buffs or stuff like that, there's a whole heap of options you can be tracking. So I only want to be tracking the buffs on myself. I want to be tracking them when they're available. And I also want to show a timer. So there you go. First one set up, super simple. So defensive buffs. So, you know, if I if I put Guardian Shield on myself, uh, uh, sorry, Guardian Spirit on myself, you'll see it come up there. Super simple. Okay, so the next one we want to be tracking is a more interesting one. So say, you know, Innovate or Symbol of Hope. So I'm just going to do Symbol of Hope in this example here. So Symbol of Hope. Now, Symbol of Hope is a very big cooldown. Um, you know, you, you might get it randomly from other healers. You might, you know, put it on yourself. If you put it on yourself, hopefully you'll know you'll have it. But, you know, if another Holy Priest in your group puts it up, you want to know if you have it. So, generally, what I like to do for these big things, especially when I'm playing Disc, when, you know, Innovates and Symbol of Hopes are huge in your gameplay. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put a sound notification on them. So we set this up the same way. We're tracking Symbol of Hope on myself, the player. We're tracking it as a buff, and we're tracking it when it's present. We're showing the timer text, and then we can go to notifications. So in notifications here, you have a whole heap of things you can be doing. You can put an animation on it. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I like to have a sound notification. So if you can read all of these different things here, all these different conditions, the one I use is on start. So when the cooldown or buff is applied, um, so that's what perfectly what we want. When we get Symbol of Hope applied to us, we can put a sound onto it. So you can click through here and you can listen to all the different sounds. So what I like to use is a nice big... Die. Very simple. Um, so... I have that equipped there to it, notification, it comes up, we press OK. So now when we exit out of this, right, and we press our symbol of hope, Die. comes up with the sound notification. Super simple when we get a, you know, a big healing, you can do this for any, any cooldown you want, apply different sound notifications to them, and you'll never miss one when it comes out. You'll, you'll learn after, you know, a few times of hearing it, you'll, it'll just become second nature. You just hear die, or whatever it is, it can be some ping, some pong, and you'll just know that that cooldown is up. You might be paying attention to something different on your screen, um, and you'll you know it's there. So super simple to set up. Uh, and that's sound notifications. So in you can do other things, like you can be tracking apotheosis when it's applied to you. So when you cast apotheosis, you can just be tracking the apotheosis buff. That is always a handy one. Um, so, you know, same thing. So one thing I do like to do with cooldowns like Purify. Now, Purify will generally be off cooldown. So I'm not too concerned about tracking it when it's off cooldown. I only am really con you know, concerned when it's on a cooldown. So what I like to do with this is a little different thing. So I like to track a spell cooldown. And instead of tracking it when it's available, I want to track it when it's not available. So we do this the same way. Spell cooldown, we want to track Purify. Um... And then we want to show the timer for it. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually show this because I don't have a way of getting a, a debuff on myself. 
but just take my word for it now when I'm going to be using Purify and it goes on an 8 second cooldown rather than it showing me I've got an 8 second cooldown down here it's going to show me up here that you know it's on a cooldown for an 8 seconds um, so what else do we want to track so I might switch over to disk right now and I'll show you a little something I've set up in disk to help me when I'm playing um, so this will be tracking debuffs on the target now this is a more complicated one so this tracks Purge of the Wicked on the target. So now when Purge of the Wicked is applied to the target as a debuff and when it's not present, right? So when it's absent from the target, it's going to give me this, this uh, notification here. Now one condition of Purge of the Wicked, now because Purge of the Wicked and Shadow Word Pain are essentially the same spell, um, what I want to be doing is because I'm tracking Purge of the Wicked specifically, I want to be looking for when Purge of the Wicked is talented. So when Purge of the Wicked is talented, this this note this icon here will become active. So now if we're looking through the chain of what is it, of what this is, so I have Purge of the Wicked talented, so this is going to come up. I'm looking for a debuff on the target that when Purge of the Wicked is absent. So you'll notice now when I attack the target, Purge of the Wicked will show up. You know, it'll show me that Purge of the Wicked is not on the target. So when I put Purge of the Wicked on, it'll get rid of that, that buff icon there. It's the same thing when I switch targets. It's a very, very simple condition. Okay, so that, that is a more complicated one, but you can see it's the same process. So we're putting it as a debuff on the target when it's not on the target and when Purge of the Wicked is talented. So now this is the same thing, but this is for Shadow Word Pain, and this is when Purge of the Wicked is not talented. So, super simple stuff there. Um, you know, you can see all the things here I track on my disc priest, and what I've actually done on my disc priest is I've, I've made a whole bunch of different groups, and they're all just different sizes. Um, so, that's pretty much all the basics of Tell Me When. There is a whole bunch of different things you can be tracking. You can be tracking spell cooldowns, um, say with a condition where the you know the target is below a certain HP. So, you, you can look through all the... Um, all the different notifications here. So, you know, say if we want to be tracking as a Shadow Priest, power, um, Shadow Word Death, right? So I can be looking here, health percentage of the target, you know, when it's it's less than or equal to 35% or whatever it is, um, you know, and that's, so spell cooldown, Shadow Word Death, um, you know, and that's all it takes to track Shadow Word Death um, when... You know, if I wanted to track Shadow Word Death Cephals on my Shadow Priest, and when I only want to have it show on my screen when the target is below 35% HP, there you go, I just did it in about, you know, 30 seconds. So, once you learn how to do it, it is very, very, very helpful in, you know, setting up things. You can do everything on the fly. You don't have to rely for somebody to post on a forum about, you know, you know my week or is for my class. You can set up things exactly how you like them, and you can also, you know, set them up so they're not intrusive to your gameplay. You know, you might not like the fact that the weak aura that you got from somebody has some, you know, flashing thing in the middle of your screen. You know, that can be very annoying. That can be very distracting. That, you know, that can be, you know, not how you like to, um, you know, not how you like to play. So, learning, learning how to set up and track different cooldowns is a, a very important part, especially if you want to be getting into your higher mythic rating. Um, so I, I highly recommend you spend the 10 minutes it takes to learn how to do it, and then you set them up from that point on for yourself. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, give me any feedback. You know, if you have any questions about how to track things, please don't ask me specifically how to track. You know, some something. Spend the time it takes to uh to learn how to do it yourself you know if it's something more complicated sure you know leave a comment and i'll, I'll try and you know s guide you through on how to do that um but yeah hope this was informative and thanks for watching